All right, let's fucking get into this motherfucking Mr. and Mrs. Smith, man. Peak. Mars, have you checked it out yet, my brother? I have not. I'm going to start tonight. Peak, bro. I, I haven't I haven't finished the last episode of Drugs. You finished it? You finished the whole season? It's only Oh, man, episodes. you didn't? No, I'm not saying shit. I got through some of it, you know what I mean? I, I've, I got uh, through yeah, that's not, there's no way, oh, okay. it don't even hint to how it's ending. Uh, like, okay, that's, so I'm going to say that. All right, all right, bet, uh, bet, man, bet. that shit is amazing. That shit is amazing, bro. I got like another 20, 20 minutes or an hour left or something like that. I can't remember. I, got, I, I want to just start it from the beginning, though. I ain't going to lie. Heat, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, you know what I mean? If you ever seen the movie with uh, Brad Pitt and Angelina, Brangelina, if you will. This is Childish Gambino's Donald Glover's rendition of this shit on Prime. Yo, I'm going to just say, yo, Donald Glover is becoming like, like, like a, a God hero. tier. Like, he's like a hero, like, if that makes sense. Like, he's like, uh, like, I'm trying to think of an example, like Ice Cube, like. like okay, like, okay. You know, like a nigga that kind of like does everything. He act in it, like, but he performs it well, and he giving you classics, like, but from like his own perspective, like it's not like the typical perspective. Like Friday, obviously it was a hood movie, nigga, but we ain't never seen a movie in a hood like Friday. Yeah, that's why it, ain't, it, ain't, it stands by itself, right? It's not. It's ghetto, but it ain't like ignorant right it's still layers to that shit yeah i agree yeah. donald glover is definitely that art uh that type of i'm gonna call him an artist because what he's doing on tv is art too bro he's bro he's listen it's kind of kanye kanye is another one of them like if kanye me personally kanye became a hero for me specifically bro when that my beautiful dark twisted fantasy, uh, like when he dropped that whole like visual for it, runaway movie, bro, it was over. It was over after that, bro. I'm like, this nigga is the god. Visuals, bro. That's the power of visual. I think that's where I ain't gonna lie. I when Charles Gambino as the rapper, as the artist, came out early on with the camp project. I ain't going for it. I was I was hating on him early. Just uh, yeah, I remember. Remember, what I I look. I think put him on. I think put you on to you. You and Mark. Comment. You and the homie Mark. Yeah, you know I mean, y'all yeah, put him on. I was I was I was late to the party. You know, what I mean, I was a lost soul out here. Remember mm-hmm. how I used to be like, bro, this nigga is amazing, son. What Back the to the fuck? image. Back to the image thing, bro. Shit's rappers, on it. What the rappers. fuck is the image? Rappers at that it. time or before that time, it was an image that you needed to uphold. I was still stuck in that, you know what I mean? Until I started listening and not paying attention. I was just listening now. I realized, oh, this nigga's a genius. Then I, you know what I mean? I did the research. Oh, he he's a writer on these NBC shows. He has community, you know what I mean? Oh shit, this nigga's actually top level in his what he his craft. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, obviously then Atlanta came out, the um the internet album. You know what I'm saying? Like Bro, that did internet they album. Me? Still heat. The video where he dropped uh with, with Janae, uh what was it, Telegraph Avenue, I think it's called. I think so. I, I know he got the one with the uh Marion sample, but just st- Bro. keeping it on the Mr. and Mrs. Smith though. Bro. Without spoiling it, if you if you have seen the movie. It's basically a series of that. So, you know what I mean? Can we get more of that? Not to cut you off, bro. The but good can way. we get more? Yeah, I hope he does it specifically, though. Yeah. Like, take our classic, right? The same thing what Hollywood does, right? Take our classic and say, fuck, they, fuck what they doing. And, like, just, bro, just change it up. Like, Give it, it a full length series. Yeah, bro, but not obviously the series it you know it allows you to kind of get like a you know expand a feel. Yeah, yeah, right. But just kind of 
twist it, like, you know, live it, live out that specific class or your own classic, right? And, you know, you know, like just 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 in a way where like we haven't seen it in your own way. Yeah. And if it's a Charles Donald Glover, Charles can't be no Donald Glover way. He's already a beast with how his cinematography is. If you've watched Atlanta, his scenes, the shots. Literally, like the, the nigga is top, top three, for sure. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, just so we can stay on the topic of this, really good balance of comedy, action, good writing, and real shit. But think about the choice of that of the film, though. Because obviously you could do any, could have did any film. Yeah. But that specific film, like, Y- y'all seen that shit, right? Angelina Jolie. Yeah, of course. Of course. That Bro, last every episode. Every time like, I watch that movie, like, I can't stop watching it. Like, I gotta sit and watch it. Star Power helps, too, for that, too. I feel like if that was with two regular motherfuckers, it would be probably decent, but we wouldn't care about it as much. Um, uh, w- well, that that comes with p- being performed well. Yeah, true. Right? Because if it wasn't Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, who the fuck you getting? Jennifer Aniston and fucking Adam Sandler? You ain't gonna take that serious, right? I mean, it's probably gonna be good, but then you get... What, what's they movie? Solve... Solve... Mist- Murder... Uh, What's the name of the movie that they, they, they actually got one. I think it's with their names, too. What's the fuck is that shit called? Um, Which is pretty good, too. Yeah, it's Aniston yeah. and Adam Sandler movies. Um, I forgot what it's Murder called. Mystery. Murder Mystery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, which yeah, are I, really good? Which are peak? By the way, yeah, they, those are pretty good. Yeah, yeah those, it's those it's good, fun. but you're not. You don't. It's this certain like you're I said, like everybody, right? And everybody, bro. Everybody's an artist. It, it's not specifically that you you're expecting comedy, right? Because every time I see Adam Sandler. He's not a. I don't look at the nigga as a stand up fucking comedian. Like, it's the same thing with Ice Cube. Like, the nigga's a funny ass nigga on screen, but he's not no fucking. Like, he ain't no joke. Like, the nigga. <laughs> yeah, true. Like, true. Well, I, I want to keep. I want to keep it, Mister and Mrs. Smith, though, without spoiling too much. So there's, uh, how many episodes? Six episodes. Oh, eight episodes. My bad. Eight, eight episodes. They're about like Amazing. under an hour. Peak. 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 They got so, really good cameos. My favorite episode is episode six, Couples Therapy, with um, what's what's Shorty name from American Horror Story? Sarah Paulson. She plays the therapist. The ending of that really episode good. was so great. She did amazing, bro. She did really the, good. The episode, episode yeah. was just broken up so well. You know, you got them going to therapy for whatever they needed to go there for. Spoiler alert: they're a couple. Hey, Mister and Mrs. Smith, if you didn't get that by now, I'm sorry. Uh. They have sort of friction, and obviously they're spies. That's not a spoiler if you've also seen the movie. They're spies, so they obviously can't tell her what their job is. They just tell her we work together. <laughs> so as they're explaining, you know, and you know, each their every every session they go to, they're getting more and more further away from each other on the couch, indicating that you know they're having a little bit more friction. But as they're telling what's going on. They're flashing back and showing the scenes of these missions that they're on where one party is feeling the other party is doing too much. That shit was so good. And there's people that I spoke to that don't like this show. And I be I had to ask, I'm like, yo, what do you niggas expect from content nowadays, bro? Like Bro, listen, some niggas don't like Atlanta. I can't I completely under Bro, I don't fight anyone who don't agree with what I agree with. Like at all, like I, yeah. honestly, you know what? I gotta be better at that because I be judging niggas, bro. I don't be giving two fucks, bro. I be like, honestly, in my head, I be like, oh, nigga, I guess we clearly two different people. Like that's all I just yeah. did. Like, yeah, yeah, we, yeah I be judging niggas, different, bro. bro. <laughs> I, be saying, I be saying niggas is too basic in they thinking of like what content is because it's like you looking at surface level. Like niggas be like, yo, the trailer showed me one thing. And when I watched it, it wasn't that. I'm like, yo, you still falling for trailers, bro? Are you still falling for trailers? That Trailers are made to sell a product. It's like a fucking commercial. You gonna get mad if you buy something and you seen in a commercial and it ain't the product? Like, 
That's what a trailer is, bro. If you're watching some show, that's why I don't watch trailers anymore. If I'm keeping it honest, like, if we're doing a reaction to some shit, or if it's like, you know, a main thing, like a GTA trailer, a main movie, but something that, like, I, I wasn't aware of, I'm not going to watch the trailer to try to get into the show. I'm going to just start the show because the trailer is usually misleading you. But I mean, man, this. Yeah, what the fuck is the deep. trailer? Tra- what the fuck? Niggas see action in the trailer back to back and think it's going to be straight action. Stop talking to me. <laughs> That's what I get judged. Right, stop talking to me, man. Like, no, seriously. Like, I don't say that, but in my head, like, I'm okay. Like, I'd be okay with, like, you know, like, if a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, if he, if he don't think that shit is fire and he thinks. This shit over here is fire, and I don't necessarily like. You know what I'm saying? It's like some niggas literally make judgment before even actually experiencing what the fuck you talking about. Anyway, it'd be a whole thing, and the nigga ain't seen it, ain't went, ain't been there. Like, bro, shut up. Facts. Really good show, though, man. Check it out. Yeah, Mr. And Mrs. Smith. Man, Prime. Gambino, please, bro. Atlanta is gone. I knew this nigga was going wild out, bro. I'm yeah, t- yeah, yeah. He, he, I need t- another one. Whatever, whatever the Yo, next one is, I need it. Wildin'? This nigga is wildin'. This nigga, please Low check key, it I out. I want another album. I want another album. Oh, I definitely plan on checking it out. I was, I was planning on checking it out when I first seen the trailer. I said, okay, I'm gonna check it out. I, I love my Asian woman. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to fall in love with Asian women. That is my new uh, okay, stitch. Okay. Oh so, man, this nigga's crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, so, crazy. I'm so, so when I seen, I said, crazy, "Oh, him throwing the Asian." I said, "Oh, so he's trying to go." Oh, That's why I want to be. I want to be like him when I grow up. So yeah, a lot of love. You know, she's what I'm Japanese. Saying? Yeah, she's Shout Japanese. Out to Asian women. Period. I'm just, I'm just starting to fall in love with them. You know what I mean? I'm just starting. No, to, I, I agree, think, bro. I, listen, I think, bro, I think I've it's a Stella Blade. I think it's a Stella Blade. The Stella Blade. The Stella Blade gameplay that really got me. Like, I need, I need one. Clear of the closing doors, please.